Shit, yeah, guys, we're working the PC Gamer event revealed stuff, okay? You just saw Tactical Breach Wizards, a turn-based game of sorcery and SWAT team strategy from the makers of Gunpoint and Heat Signature. My strategy, personally, is very simple. Breach, bang, clear, magic missile, dramatic flourish, abra, cadaver. Get it? Cadaver, dead body. Next, we have a solution to the age-old problem of not having time to read and play video games. Just do both at the same time, obviously. Star Wars Industries has you covered with their sci-fi thriller inspired by Stanislaw Lem's novel, The Invincible. So here's your first look at the first ever gameplay footage. Taking me. You came here yourself. So what are you expecting, huh? You've set up a field camp down there. Yeah. So I didn't expect you to have a second one here. That was the black bar at the bottom. Here. Don't you dare move. What are you doing here? You're not gonna like this part. What do you say? I love a lot of space games lately. Yep. Space and vampires. Oh, oh. The radiation level is growing rapidly. It's starting to get interesting. I'll pretend I didn't hear that, Doctor. Located the mobile antimatter cannon. Another one. How many of those did they? Is it active? Dead. <sighs> I admire your composure. Wait, someone's here. <laughs> Astrogator, they're dead. So you found someone. Fortunately, such unpleasant discoveries are indispensable to the mission. I didn't let that thought get to me. I was counting on this meeting very much. At worst, it could have been another abandoned place, but not this. But what exactly? That's a good question. <laughs> Getting into the recorder. I thought it lagged. <laughs> it did. <laughs> what do we have here? Uh -huh. What? They made their way through with a beam of antimatter. Why would they make comics about it? Did you locate this passage? Looking at it now, they pierced a hole several meters in diameter and several dozen meters long. They had the AI draw it for them. Ah. Yasna, do you hear me? Yes. My head feels like it's bursting from pressure. Can you continue? Yes. I'm better now. Actually, there's nothing here that I haven't seen before. There are a lot of metal bushes that were near our camp. Finley Mega Chippy. The lower parts of the bushes are, how to put it, fruitless. So they came to pick the fruits. <sighs> this 
This robot looks like it has started its task and got stuck. What task? This is one of the robots carrying containers with research material. It took the container, but never left that place. And why do you think it's stuck? Well, it goes in circles using the same path. I hear that sound. The robot's gone. You must have broken his loop. But I didn't. Well, he must have done something. Never mind. Follow it. Take care of our people, Novik. Looks pretty decent, actually. Didn't look bad. <laughs> it's time to take a pit stop. Good one, Wires. At the nearest you, dungeon ara, to prove that a, a, chivalry isn't you, dead. Ara, you think I emphasize a, those Why is he wearing AirPods? Yeah, I was saying. It all makes sense momentarily a, when you a, see these oh, yeah, board games. Especially when you hear from our friends at Tripwire Interactive. Roll that beautiful footage. I like the nine. He's not cringe. Nah, you don't have D9's what it takes. OG, man. Yeah, very OG. You'll be back here know, man. too scared to try again. Cause the dungeon will turn you into lunch meat. Unless you're way tougher than you look. We got the guns. The turrets. The upgrades. But what you really need is guts and skills. Grab your posse and say your prayers. Be the first to play. Whoa! Jesus Christ! They finally made it! You have what it takes? Welcome to F1 Manager 2022, the ultimate F1 simulation, putting you in the position of team principal at one of the 10 current F1 teams battling it out for a chance to be the next world champion. Choose your team and drive every decision that leads to you making your mark on the grid and hopefully the podium. Winning championships depends on your ability to make the right calls on and off the track. During races, your mastermind strategy, plan tire stints for each driver and make changes on the fly when necessary. Issue driver callouts such as instructing them to attack or defend, manage their tire wear and battery usage, or even to avoid battling a teammate all while reacting to dynamic events like race incidents and fluctuating weather and track conditions. Between race weekends, you'll control every detail of your team from your state-of-the-art headquarters. Hire best-in-class staff to work across your aerodynamics and engineering teams and put them to the task to develop your car and prepare new parts for upcoming races. Optimize your finances to keep the board happy, improve and maintain your facilities. I'm and done, this is just not for me. F2 and I mean, F3 I like the campaign and playing the game of fun, but all this customization and is power. I don't and I'm not a big fan of it. Of realistic data will help you the edge. Forza, bro. From the finer details of how car parts affect overall performance, to a track's expected grip level, to the condition of your wind tunnel. How you analyze the data and choose to spend your resources will make or break your progress. You'll find depth and detail in abundance, even Please down to real-world team radio messages Lockdown between drivers two. and engineers, and race commentary from David um. Croft and Karun Chandok. While broadcast-style presentation showcases 2022's striking new car design with real trackside and onboard camera angles, 
the sleek management menus and intuitive controls will drive the immersive F1 fantasy home as you plan and execute the perfect strategy in F1 Manager 2022. Reorder the digital chat. version now for early access from August 25th. Bro, I just realized you don't even drive. Oh, bro. Hey everyone, after you one year of Shiver 2, we've more than doubled the size of the game, and now we're excited to bring even more nights onto the battlefield. The because good good today, right man. now, Shiver 2 Much is out on you, Steam with crossplay between have all a great platforms. Day this is our biggest update to the game yet. And it brings players to an all-new desert theater of war, and best of all, brings us horses into Chivalry 2 in mounted combat. We want to thank our community for making the game the success that it's been so far, and if you haven't played it yet, now is the best time to check out Chivalry 2. Take a look at our new trailer that shows off the new update and its Notion Invasion. <clears throat> this rebellion is at an end. The Agapians flee to their stronghold in the north. This land is mine! Now Denosia rises from the south. It's a good game. Kill them all! Throw the dogs back into the desert. Forces will crash and break against the bulwark. If the wall falls, we must retaliate. Ready the ships! Long has Sinosia remained safe from my fury. No more. Strike out of this. Their city will fall. Their people will bleed. Their knowledge will burn. My reign. It's a good game. Hi everyone, I'm Phil from Sweet Bandits, live from Quebec City, really glad to be here today Ooh. for the PC Gaming Show. We'll be showing the first trailer for our game, Deceive Inc. It's a multiplayer competitive spy game where you get to use social stealth, high-tech gadgets and powerful spy abilities to try and get the upper end. We've had the chance of working with Tripwire Presents on the project, so this is only the beginning. Please follow us on social media at Play Deceiving to learn more. We'll be releasing the game in early 2023 on PC, Xbox Series S, NX, and PS5. Oh, that chat, nice. Thank you so much, and let's enjoy the trailer. Good afternoon, agents. Your mission is simple. Infiltrate the Frozen Coral Underwater Hotel and retrieve the blueprint of a powerful weapon. As you know, Deceive Inc.'s company policy is to deploy multiple agents to ensure the mission's success. But only one will get the paycheck. Do whatever it takes, agent, and be careful out there. Try your best. Let's see if it's enough. Booyah! ka -ching! Oh, come on. They can't be this fast. And they thought it was secure. In the end, I am victorious. They're really not going to make it easy for I'm gonna me. I'm going to be honest. We, we've been having a lot of games like these um, gotcha. in recent years. Like... Is that it? Retro modern right on game. Target. Of like infiltration or like spying or whatever. It can't end like this. Target acquired. Red for Futurism, that's the one, yeah. All done. A lot of them. Really? Mission complete. Name three. We happy few, maybe. Um, fucking. Yeah, you know, I'm bad. I'm bad with names, of man. I'm bad with names, man. Like it. I'm bad with names, man. Jesse, I'm in the style. 
Deceiving. Death loop. I love that. Do you ever have a recurring dream that you really wish would come true? What else? I mean, there's, a, there's a bunch of bunch. A flight of unicorns I'm not crazy. and a Valkyrie army on Pegasuses, but you know, yours may be different. But you know, somehow I doubt it. This year, we've partnered with the PC builders at iBuyPower to bring a very different dream to life my dream PC room. Unfortunately, there's bad news for me. I don't get to keep it. But very good news for one of you. We're going to be giving the entire contents of this room away to a lucky winner watching the show. So let's dive in and see what's up for grabs. Can I win that? The beating heart of any PC gaming dream room is, of course, the rig. So let's start there. As you can see, the mad geniuses at iBuyPower have built an absolute doozy. The first thing you'll notice is that height Y60 case with its wraparound tempered glass panels. This thing is built from the ground up to display the sickest PC tech you can squeeze into a desktop machine. And let's face it, if you've managed to bag a serious graphics card in these dry, dry times, you owe it to the Silicon Gods to show it off properly. Okay, the case and lighting looks dope, but for this to be a true dream PC, we need more than just state-of-the-art drip. Luckily, the substance matches the style. So let's check out the guts of our dream PC. And trust me, there's plenty of power crammed in. The big question though, is what pixel pusher iBuyPower has used and you won't be disappointed with an overclocked RTX 3090 from Gigabyte, right? This 24 gigabyte monster of a GPU packs the okay. cooling to stay chill and the power to smash through any game you throw at it. The graphics card is the rig's MVP, but any superstar needs some dope backup. And the fastest gaming CPU around, the Intel 5.5 GHz Core i9 12900KS with 32 GB of DDR5 RAM and 2 TB of seriously fast SSD storage, both from ADATA, makes up the perfect support team. Cool. Whew, that is a whole lot of PC. But Mika, you may greedily wonder, what about the peripherals? Well, animal lovers, we got you covered, because the Height Eclipse wireless headset comes in plush the vegan what? leather trim with Thank a 30 God. hour battery life and competition grade 2.4 gigahertz connection. And you noisy typers Dude, are going to this love is the clacky uh, mechanical keyboard that comes with it. That one game, damn. Oh, I'm sorry, what was that? It's dirty. RGB, well, of course. The keyboard <laughs> and dirty? mouse both light up like Atlantic City on a Saturday night. And yeah, you can turn it off so you can actually get some sleep. You can find out more about this gear Love feature today over at iBuyPower.com, <laughs> but I know what you really want to know. The info on how to win this beastly setup. So here are the details. Thanks, Mika. Yes, folks, it <laughs> couldn't talking. be easier to enter our dream PC giveaway. For your chance, just head over oh, to PCGamer.com slash dream PC so and follow the simple instructions. There, you'll find a complete breakdown of the prize, which, don't worry, also comes with some very swish monitors as well as the eligibility rules. Good luck, gamers. That is right. Just head over to PCGamer.com slash DreamPC for your chance to win. But for now, let's get back to the cool. games. Yeah, From the games, Kepler man. Interactive and A44 Games comes Flintlock, The Siege of Crash Dawn, Scythe. an action RPG from the team behind Ashen, where gods and guns collide. Ashen? When the gods first emerged from the great below, we saw them as saviors. Instead, they unleashed a pestilence on our world. No one yet knows if you can kill a god. I, for well, one, we always saw this. intend to find out. Why are giveaways only for the US? I don't get it. I don't understand that. Shipping? Okay, but I mean, just, just sh ship and pay more money. What? It's for legal, you think? Your boy's lane's walls are strange. Yeah, okay, that sucks. Yeah, this game is good. We always say this.
like I said, why wow. they're gonna be good here about this game is the depth of combat, and I hope it's like very unforgiving and like uh, engaging with the player. And not some like, I'm gonna just spam like eight abilities and one the sim combo eight to eight times. Hey, PC Gaming Show. I'm Derek Bradley, the CEO of A44 Games and creative director of This is what we were talking about with Old E3, right? <laughs> yeah, the what? Sit in a world this is Old E3 we were talking about and where so they show a mid game and we yeah, talk about it for a bit. Yeah. power of black powder and bombs and flintlock rifles to finally overthrow the gods and take the world back. You'll play as Nor, a Blackstream sapper, one of the elite explosives experts of the coalition forces. Uh, Nor herself has a personal vendetta against the gods and will stop at nothing to get her revenge. But you won't be going it alone. When Nor brings firepower, her fox-like companion Enki brings magic to the battlefield. You will have to master a combination of axe combat and gunplay while your companion Enki uses his magical powers to disrupt enemies. We can't wait to show you more of Flintlock before it's released next year. Head over to our socials for more info and don't forget to wishlist now on Steam and Epic Game Store. Have a great show. Coming up next, a mysterious new sci-fi game from 11-Bit Studios, the creators of This War of Mine. Hear all about it in our exclusive interview. We'll also show you what's next for Outriders from Square, Enix and People Can Fly. Plus, if you look back on high school and think, you know, those four years would have been better if I was fighting literal demons, you're definitely going to want to study up on our next world exclusive independent game inspired by the Persona series. Choke your health potions now because there is so much more PC gaming. Yeah, for, I might actually skip to be honest. Before we go, the folks at Bro, Compass Data Centers have mom. a little quiz for you. How much yeah, higher is 5G's not. data capacity compared to current 4G Thank networks? Thank God they told us what was coming Scan up next. Scan this QR code and answer the question for a chance to win 500 if this bucks next game is stuff from Razer. We'll or visit gaming.compassdatacenters.com. Okay, now back to the PC gaming show. Yeah, Pluto, I might, I, I might skip. I'm not kidding. Ready if, to if, game the system. If this next game doesn't, doesn't yeah. go crazy mode. Like, you achieve. What's your take on this? You win. So I think I want. Now. Because your this credit card shouldn't stop when the game does. Thing. Mana is the best gaming rewards debit card where you can earn perks and points. I know what it does. What's the point of it? And get rewarded with the things you actually want. Like that skin you can't Yeah, I'm not going to say anything off. either, but dude, or we, we might get sponsored, upgrade. right? So why pay any other <laughs> way? Pay with mana. Pay with power. I feel you. Well, mana. I mean, they're, they're credit cards. In I mean, the they're system. like... So I know oh yeah, I did a bounty for it yesterday. Yes. Bro, bro, it's bro. To talk about it's a credit card. The brand new credit cards are like, uh, I mean... The Warsaw Bay studio made us cry in this war of mine. Make I mean, did, did, did they're cracking the everything. Climate in. apocalypse in Frostpunk. Oh, is that it? Battle encroaching oh. corruption and children of Morta. The altar sends us to the deepest, darkest reaches of space in a survival story that is guaranteed to give you an existential crisis in a good way. This is a really big moment for this year's show. I can't wait. You think Let's he read the chat look. about the AirPods? Nah. He's watching us, dude. Interesting. Looks like a Rich Campbell. This is interesting. I have a theory. 
it's space because all the kids played Among Us and they grew up to want space games. Um, yeah, no. What is that? That was cool though. I wonder what it is though. Yeah, I can't wait for it like a, 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 a little bit more. Joining us now to talk about what we just saw all the way from Poland is Tomasz Kasilewicz of 11-Bit Studios. Welcome to the PC Gaming Show and thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much, hello. Okay, there is a lot to unpack there. We got clones, we got this huge wheel. Tell us, what did we just see? Well, first of all, these guys were not exactly the clones. We saw Jan, our main character, who's traveling with a group of the Alters, who are the alternative versions of the same person. And they are going through this distant alien planet uh, in their mobile base, which was the wheel you saw at the end. So what's the player's goal as they're progressing through the story? So you are a space builder stranded on this distant planet and your goal is to survive and find a way back home. But the thing is, in order to do so, you need to create those altars, as each one of them have different set of skills and character traits. So these are things necessary for your survival and finding a way back home. So from the trailer, totally this could be a horror, a thriller, a mystery. <laughs> what should players expect? Actually, there are bits Escape of home or return home like, or visit the rest. this mystery as we're looking Ooh. deep into the soul of the character but what you find there can also be pretty scary. So there are those beats of psychological horror and drama, but then on top of it, we have this quite thick layer of surreality. I mean, how surreal would it be to one day, you know, wake up next to a little different alternative version of your very self? Now, there's a quote that you shared with me earlier, that man cannot remake himself without suffering for he is both the marble and the sculptor. How does this quote relate to the story? So this quote, it yeah, relates AirPods. directly to the main theme of our game. We as people, we are shaping ourselves every single day with every single decision that we are making. This process, the whole process of becoming who we are, it can be quite painful oh, okay. at times. Um, but in our game, Jan, yeah, the main see, character, he has this, exactly this what I, unique I want possibility not as like of event. not I, I, I shaping one, himself, not better. but also reshaping himself a numerous times kind of a drag. with every single altar that he is creating. Do you see this as more of a classic sci-fi story, something like a Ray Bradbury work, or is it something Why? more Why? I, I want to do it. Well, it is very well, classic me. sci-fi in a way that like, we this are game, though, I don't know. a relatable topic, and we are using the sci-fi theme, we are using the sci-fi setting to look at it through, like, through the magnifying lenses. But then when we're choosing the tools, this is a very contemporary game and we're taking advantage of what video games are as a medium. Wait, are they going to show so us what the game is we're using at least? tools like systematic design and non-linearity in order to put the players in the middle of the experience we still gotta watch and the trailer in the end times. allow them to create their own stories inside the game. I wanted to ask a little bit about the relationship of your previous titles to the altars, whether there's any narrative or or themes, or even just influence that those games had on this one? Well, The Altars is purely 100% our game, 11-bit studios game. And it's created in line with our meaningful entertainment philosophy. So it's a game we hope that it will make you think even after you stop playing it. This war of mine was this first huge milestone. It, it paved the way for all the future titles. And with Frostpunk, it was taken to another level with the strong focus on the emergent narrative. And now with the Alters, we want to follow that path, but we also really want to push the boundaries even further and expand on how we approach meaningful topics inside the design of our games. Okay. Thanks so much again to Tomash and the whole team at 11-Bit Studios ah, for joining ah, us here. Ah, and, and on my I fucking hands, oh my god! Through day one to eight, let's head on over to Mika Burton and keep things rolling like a mess. Oh my god! Hey. Thanks, Day9. Honestly, I need to look into getting myself clones so I can make time to play 
all of these awesome games we've seen so far. But I'm also how did he get that far up? How? Uh, but I'm so done. Single Fuck. hand to hand combat when they steal my life, making me wonder if I was the clone all along. How did he get out? How did I get the dollar of my hand? Yeah, no, it's totally worth it for video games. Anyway, that's a problem for future Mika. Present Mika is much more interested in what you all have been saying about the show so far. So keep letting us know your thoughts by using hashtag PC Gaming Show on all platforms. We overreact, do Now, it. let's get back to the There's real weird There's ants that clawed my legs and my hands, man. I mean video games. Video games. Bro, you know what's coming after this, right? No, what is it? Them talking about this. This what? What we're watching. What do you mean? If you're bad, yeah. Yeah, I don't... This is... Don't worry, you'll find out. They're gonna talk about it for 10 minutes. The devs. <laughs> Guess the country it's it's from. I don't know. Where is it from? Oh, I thought they were gonna go to the. Okay, no, no, I'm 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 actually out of there. I'm out. Wait, this game looks sick. Wait, they finally fucking did this? Yeah. That was hey. what's special about this game is that you can buy both the, the digital one or the paper version. It's a flip book. Dude, we've been waiting for this shit for years as gamers. Finally giving us what we need. First Minesweeper, now this? Holy fuck. Wake up, dude. Age of Empires 1 comes out tomorrow. No way! The game has saves! Did you see that? I saw that. Saved! How are they gonna have memory compatibility with that? They literally showed a portion of them saying they showed the saving. Sure, sure. When Tiny <laughs> Bill lets you open your own <laughs> medieval potion shop, you get That's all they had. master alchemist. <laughs> but when I do it, I get a sternly worded letter from my landlord about it my works. cauldron <laughs> violates our lease agreement. Whatever, it's his loss. Never again will you have to do it. Folks, non we promise games. you the maximum amount of games <laughs> <that's> <laughs> possible. Just gonna show the and options mid cutscene. Look at V-Sync. <laughs> what the fuck are we what? looking at, man? <laughs> it's Animal Royale. I played the show of this. For like a, a, a one hour. The sponsor, yeah. No, I, I wasn't sponsored. Yeah, at least they're just going through, you know? Yeah. Oh, uh, was that the disrespect? You wasted the car. He doesn't care. Oh, what is this? What skin is that on the M4? X probably has it better. True. These are just defaults, they're really poor. Turn base? Oh, clue, that wasn't their turn. They got fucking rolled without even saying doing anything. Damn, dude, that. TFT. This is a lot of people that love this shit, though. Ah, <laughs> boo, <Yeah>. hotel. <laughs> Ooh, free demo now. I don't think you can say on that one though. The, 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 the tech isn't there yet. No sense. It looks like for the king. Did you see that? Before your yeah. eyes lies the celestial islands, a world of peace above the clouds. Yeah. Protected. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if the game. This game looks good, but <laughs> no does it have, does it have saving capability. I 
Am I just tired or like why is that so funny? <laughs> hey, it's pretty funny in a moment. They hope no one knows. You think they saw the save part? That's important. I think at indie dev? Oh come on, it's not like that. It's not like that. It's the fact that they put the fucking game with him. Yeah, as, as, like, as like a feature. Planet yeah. Earth, our beautiful home. Not that deep. It's not we that must deep. reach out to explore the unknown. Our team of experts is presently probing the deep sea in a struggle against the yoke of overregulation. Do you guys think of Rust too? Yeah, it looks like uh, oil rig. We surge forward, obliterating the enemies of progress. Killing for. But we refuse to let these victories go to our Is it? Heads. We yeah. are yeah. the future. We are Ozine. And now it's time to give you an exclusive briefing on what's next for one of PC gaming's titans of modding, simulation, and scale. Uh -huh. Arma 4. Last month, developer Ooh. Bohemia Interactive kicked things off by releasing Arma Reforger on Steam in early access. This playable prototype will be a foundation for Arma GTA 4. RP killer. With it playable on Steam now, Cap. we have a ton of questions about the future of Arma. I mean, after all, this is the series that helped birth the survival genre through DayZ. Oh, and also this other little niche genre you may have heard of called Battle Royale to help us peer into the future for this project. We've got none other than <laughs> Bohemia Interactive. Thank you so much for joining us. Why are they us. sitting? So as of right now, Armor Reforger has been out for about a month. What is it that you've been learning or seeing from players? At first, we've learned that players uh, like Reforger a lot and they appreciate the work we've put into it. We also realize yeah, that have a name. Like <laughs> <laughs> right, right, the quality of our games. The guy in the and, right. uh, we are very pleased by the reactions of both our community and the new players who immediately started flooding the internet with videos, playthroughs, and uh, praise of our new technology. So we are very glad that the reception was so good. So there's no uh, doubt players who have been longtime fans of the franchise stepping into okay. Armor Forger, and I'm curious. What were some of the big challenges of rebuilding that specific arm? Yo, I'm lagging really bad right now, I don't know why though. Very tricky subject oh, I know because why, even internally yeah, it's an ongoing kind of fight. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I'm myself uh, very much on the very purist He's side fine. of things. So no heart, no He's safe games, now, no but... superficial helpers. And this fight can get very he intense like he even in house. Earlier. So I'm the real <laughs> arm purist and I'm uh, on this uh, for, uh, 25 years now, so I will keep fighting, but obviously this is part of the fun, so there's always never-ending battle. I think two years ago we really struggled to keep it keep it Arma and even internally preserve our own standards, so do it our own way rather than replicating what's maybe normal in other games, because our goal is not to make the same game as all other games, so our, our goal is to remain unique. I'm curious if you can speak to what the main goals of Reforger is, because it's a little unusual compared to other releases. I mean, for instance, how much content should a player expect if, say, they've been playing Arma 3 for years? Our goals were, of course, to restart the series uh, from a technological standpoint, really make room for uh, some new achievements, uh, utilize the technology which is state-of-the-art, both in terms of how it looks like, how it's controlled, how it can be modded. It's important to understand uh, it may look as a kind of normal game on the surface, but there is a big system behind it. So just the tool suite is a massive tool suite, never tested by a large public. So it's a <laughs> premiere of a tool suite. And these tools are being built for nearly five years now. So we really need users to start using them to keep improving and continue building it. Sorry to interrupt, but we have one quick question from the Armour fans. Has Russia's invasion of Ukraine impacted your approach to Armour 4 and Armour Reforger, a game that depicts the Cold War? Well, yes, because Who it's asked that? extremely close to us. We even live uh, in, uh, in a way very nearby. So what was that? Uh, on the other hand, we started work on this many years ago, so the direction was set uh, before. But we always approach uh, conflicts and armed conflicts with oh, okay, a greater I get it. Yeah, I get it. level of respect. We're still at the beginning, but we definitely would like to continue in our uh, exploring this serious theme. Arma, as I see it, has always been a bit more of a anti-war game. It's an what entertainment. It's on this chat. It's fair, uh, fair thing to admit. On the other hand, uh, given the topic, given um, our 
let's say, maturity and long time experience. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Portrait uh, as a whole very complex and gritty thing. I would like us to contribute by not just entertaining people but also educating them on the subject. This was the whole point of starting the cooperation with the International Committee of the Red Cross, and I believe we have great potential. Big response. Don't be weird, chat. Don't be weird. Stop. And, Don't replicate uh, what you're saying. That's weird. Yeah, you guys were doing it before. It's not doing it now. That's fucking weird. To, uh, the good side of things. This would not be an interview about Arma unless we were asking about modding. I mean, so many amazing games and genres came Don't from like Arma mods. So I gotta know what's possible in Reforger that wasn't possible in the past. Now with this technology, it's possible to create entirely different things, like entirely different games. It has so many variables, but the beauty now is that much more of it is user accessible, unlike the previous games. So people can easily digest how this is constructed in our workbench tools. So uh, unlike previously where it was more hard coded in the C++ engine. So now they can check the data of every single element of the game and go much, much deeper than in previous games. So this will be super exciting. Mods. Now I wanted to ask a little bit about performance. Because anyone who's played Arma knows that it can get really challenging to get a good frame rate in those massive multiplayer matches. So I'm curious, what expectations should players have about performance leading into Arma 4? Arma 3 was built on foundations uh, laid down in times of single core and no GPUs, basically. So this time, much more uh, computations and <laughs> extra intensive uh, rendering things can be done directly on GPU, but it required completely what? new what? approach. Again, we are in the beginning and we, we know <laughs> that there are problems, there are difficulties, but we are solving them one by one. We are really uh, gathering community feedback and even our own definitely feedback so we are moving things forward Take and uh, me. yeah it's about optimization it's not not that much about fps but also for, like network traffic for instance when you have this massive multiplayer game it's a it's a huge challenge server performance of course and all the technical things so we are we are moving forward <laughs> now thank I'm you so much again it. bohemia interactive for giving us the inside scoop on both armor reforger and arma 4. now you don't go anywhere because here is what's around the corner. Just around the corner in the PC gaming show, prepare to experience terror ranging from the subaqueous to the subconscious with the latest from Shiro Games. Hold on to your butts because Fronted Development spared no expense on the new Jurassic World Evolution 2 expansion and get your crowbars ready for Half-Life Alex Levitation, a special project from some very talented modders. Oh modders, what would PC gaming be without you? While we're here, quick geography question. Okay. Which parts of the world use yeah, the most bandwidth that. for gaming? Answer this question for the folks at <laughs> Yeah, yes, yes, I love this. I, 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 I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip up, this one shit. Gift card. Scan the QR code <laughs> on the screen to enter. <laughs> <laughs> Last year, Shiro Games debuted War Tales. I just DM'd yeah, Jesse when I was laughing at it. What is it? It's medieval sandbox RPG Nothing. on the way. Up He's next, we'll hear what's up with Shiro's slate of projects, tired. and stick around for the debut of two Bro, so they got any cool games? games? Decarnation and Abyssals. Hey, There's like a funny Thank bone, something made me laugh Mika. only. I'm James, and I can't wait to show you everything that we've got prepared for you today. So it's you been know, a crazy couple of months for everyone here at Shiro I'm Games. Down. With I'm down to leave this unless something cool is gonna happen. Yeah, I'm down to but today, let's look at Dune Spice Wars multiplayer mode. Wait, you guys want to see this? Up to four players can go head to head and free for all. Two for two, only one wow. player what? to go to the against Canadian AI opponents. Dollars, you can get the armor We're introducing new synergy systems between factions that will open a vast number of strategies to help you, you crush your opponents. You can later opponents. upgrade for the super high digital collection for an extra 2999. After five years and nearly three million units sold, Northgard's story finally continues. In a new chapter set shortly after the events of the first campaign, Ragnarok is well, just decimated against that I don't really play much. Long-standing alliances have been broken. Violence and betrayal now plague the continent. Forced to depart what they once called home, our heroes arrive on unknown shores and find themselves confronted by unfamiliar faces in a dangerous new realm. This Northgard expansion arrives this winter. That was the game trailer? Fuck. <laughs> and for all of our War Tales players out there, Cooperative is finally coming to our open world <laughs> nice. tactical RPG. Okay. You share food, gold, and camp with your friends. But you can split up to cover more grounds. 
XQC. For every fight, devise the perfect strategy to overcome any threats that may stand in your way. Okay. But be careful in your approach, as one wrong what? move may lead to your group's demise. The co-op update will allow you to play between two to four players, and cool. it will be available this summer. Can you save? Wait, this is another game? What's going on? Wait, wasn't the same game? Or so we just saw three Shiro different games. I thought it was the same game, just like a little mode. Oh my indies, God. Four indies. And we are very proud to announce two new titles coming from the Shiro Unlimited family. Wait, they're doing like plays at once? I guess. I thought that was the. Oh, it on? seemed like our last Space. chance to start again, to escape Earth's devastation. We used our limited resources to lay the foundations of a new life deep below the waves oh, of this planet. Why are they as big as the building? Planet. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of kind of like Starcraft, you know. But soon, true, we Wait, realized it was water. not the dream world we had hoped for. When faced against the darkness of the abyss, we found ourselves helpless. Lost. Isolated. Abyssals. Abyssals. Now we talk about it. So this year we're Oh, they have two. This is a different Oh! Oh! I have a hotel! Why is it just scary music? Whoa, you guys see that? Hey, yeah, he's grabbing the titty. Oh, it's kind of cool though. Yeah, that's got way better. Oh, that's, I like that line, that's cool. Oh shit, Jesus. Cool picture yeah, that's too. Dub. That's dub. Thank you very much for sticking with us, everyone. We hope you enjoy the rest of the show. I liked that. Like, they had like six games ready to go. Boom, out of there. Actually, you just saw why you were exactly right to be afraid of the ocean in Abyssals. And you confronted your inner demons in the retro dream horror of decarnation. Next up. How do you rebuild a city in a world set after the collapse of civilization? Oh, not again! Let's find out how by taking a look at I Am Future from Tiny Build. Host a bunch of other games, man. They're being a bunch of hoes with the good games. They might. Maybe at the end we just get hit with a bunch of good ones. Worms. Not anymore. Warning. Hibernation aborted. Your total hibernation time was six years, six months, five days. Welcome to Eden, your new home. I have no idea where the hell I am. But damn, this place is gorgeous. <laughs> what? What? Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Wait, it's coming back. Going back down. conquered Caldaria and bestowed it upon us a new generation what is this to share I swear where we just saw four of these <laughs> our great houses seek to obtain the Emperor's favor cultivating our lands and subjects yeah, it feels like we went back in time and enrich the realm no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm, I'm seriously confused of course dominance 
can be secured. This is this is definitely have safe as, well as delicacy. <laughs> Will you be able to build your legacy of power? <laughs> Boy, what is the screen? The great houses of Calgary. <laughs> oh, that's funny too. Okay. <laughs> and now for these next trailers, it's true. They do move in herds. <laughs> that was so much. The thought process is simple. God creates dinosaurs. God destroys dinosaurs. Man destroys God. Man creates video games to play. That was the fastest, dinosaurs. easy to cringe I've ever warned, seen in chat. One of these trailers. That was a, I think a world record. Oh, I've never seen it go from easy to cringe so fast. <laughs> Space. <laughs> it's Donald's. Jurassic like Park, you're doing well, yeah. <laughs> that game is good for like a couple hours, then it gets. Uh, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, like, paid content. it's like a massively grindy uh, fucking sim. I don't know. I, I didn't like it. I heard people like it though. I like it the grind, though. Smiled. For a little bit, I mean, it had most. Oh, just an F. Entertainment. The very notion disgusts me. Look upon my Did you see the article that PC Gamer did on me today? They, they were cooking they were cooking me up. Uh, and it's magnificent. For what? For like eight pages of just cooking me. For what though? The, the trial. Bar. The trial oh, watching. The, the trial one is on the verge I mean, of a, a new era. That was funny. Shodan and its new goal. Sad. Made her doing something, right? <laughs> you, hacker. You made someone really busy right in a What does he mean, saying if? How can you challenge a perfect immortal machine? Yeah, no, she was lagging. You are an insect. You are nothing. Is this system, oh, system, system, system shock too, actually. I Fucking dope. Create. Why am I talking? I iterate. I Literally in a trance. Oh wow. Dude, that game I thought looked absolutely crazy busting. Um, I thought people didn't really talk about it. I think it was called Routine or something like that. Oh yeah. It looked insane. Thirty-nine. Remind me what it looked like again. Like what is it? What? It's, it's oh, a. No, it's a. It looked like Dead Space, right? Scary robot game. Yeah, but yeah. People are saying uh, Europe probably what an on incredible and frankly horrifying yeah, trailer developed by Night Dive Studio. Like System Shock is the of a beloved, acclaimed sci-fi yeah. saga. Today, to take us even further inside the world of System Shock, I am thrilled to welcome the one and only Warren Spector. Thanks so much for joining us, Warren. Hey, thanks for having me. This is going to be uh, fun. In terms of trying to translate the experience of a game from 1994, three decades later to now, what doesn't carry over well? The first thing is the graphics, obviously. Uh, we did the best we could, uh, but uh, <laughs> it was pretty primitive back then. I and mean, the other one is. I, the, I think uh, Paul was actually right about this. I think if you going, look at the, uh, you were the game, back. Uh, the original. Huh? Uh, we're, we're went back somehow. It came up. And it oh, that was the old the game he showed me. It, it's just. <laughs> a, I don't know how the guy that made that did it. It's, it's amazing. But. Frankly, as I think back on it, I don't know. There's a system shock like this. Up pretty well. I'm What's excited that? to see. It I come have no back. idea. Just wondering if you think many modern gamers are aware of the impact that System Shock has had in terms of gameplay systems, in terms of narrative structure, on so many games that came after it. I'm not sure people see the influence, which is uh, a little, a little unfortunate. But I think the rest of the world is is going to get the chance now to experience it and I, I think People's they'll sword. see not just that they're having fun playing this game but also see that uh, other games it's follow now, in footsteps. Nowadays we walk around with computers in our pockets, <laughs> we're worried about the evil of algorithms. How do you think about a character like Shodan in 2022? Shodan seems uh, 
far too close to reality to me right now. And let's just hope that she doesn't show up as nasty a form as she did back in 1994. <laughs> That picture Warren, was so scary back in the day. Thank you so much for joining us. And I want to let you know, I cannot wait to return back to that world I played and enjoyed so much as a kid. Cheers. Yeah, I can't wait to return to that world. I've, I've forgotten <laughs> right? basically every right? fans know way more about the game than Kim? I do now. So it'll be a new experience for me, too. Thank you so much again, Warren Spector, for joining us to talk all things System Shock. Nice since we I personally can't wait for the game to come out, though. It might completely ruin my sleep schedule, but before I spiral further, here are some more games to cram into your eyeballs. Since the first pioneers changed the harshest aspects of our world, every generation has space. a the the promise of our Three the Dude, Titan actually space. Forever be without misery or bloodshed. They finally made a space game? It's about time. Jesus. How long have we waited for this? Well, since Unreal 5 came out, we knew space was going to be well fucking mankind. banging. Tony, you, Elon Musk did this. Would be as devastating mm. as defeat. We have but a singular purpose: to establish wow. peace and security for all mankind. The war between Mars and Titan devastated our solar system. Who's talking? Be the survivors yeah. <laughs> of the Morat, where you will continue Falling Frontier's storyline campaign in orbit of an alien star. <laughs> what? I played this game for 10 minutes. I played it for an hour until I got second loading every fucking 10 minutes. We all played this game. Dude. I yeah, died. And all the force. I died and you had to use your real money to res me. Yeah, yeah literally. <laughs> yeah, dude. I had to tab out and actually get real money to fucking res. That was so stupid. Oh, there's the money right there, too. Oh. <laughs> laughing at it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna say anything because I'm gonna be sponsored. Right. I mean, it was funny for a little bit. It's just Ain't no way this flamingo helmet wearing I missed the game that you can ride on the bikes. Remember Kendrick those that came after H1Z1? What was that called? Yeah. Uh, isn't that like the game Dock Lake too? Or was it Dock it? Might have been, I forget what it's called. Radical Heights? I'm a boomer Radical and didn't mean yeah, to donate Heights. with that I stupid that voice that previously. Really What's up with my gut with that? I'm telling you, I made tech in that game. I actually figured out tech. Yep. I blew it in. It was a... Uh, all tip. right, gamers, good work. You've made it here to a site of grace. Wow. Or a bonfire, or a sculptor's idol, or a lamp. Make sure you're staying hydrated. Replenish your potion. Keep baby letting baby us know what well, games you're excited about, about using hashtag, 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 hashtag PC Gaming Show. I mean, personally, I can't wait to play the altars. Oh, good. Now, we're all rested up. How, how do you know what altars is, Time to enjoy a slice. That lovely cyberpunk life, courtesy of Novalis, and experience the investigative it's horror it's the of the game with the, the nine of the same the guy. Yeah, but Santa what Barbara. is it though? Huh? Like, what is know. the gameplay? It's gonna be like Frostbond. I guess it makes Probably. sense that someone oh, with no well, sense of humor and taste would hate little Dicky. GTA 6, finally. Bro, we have a post short about Kendrick clip. Lamar and Sorry. Well, I don't want to spoil things too much. The day Jay-Z is lower than Post Malone is the day 1 equals 2. Today, 2 equals 1. Uh, Donalds? Puff, you never listened to a Kendrick I actually Jay -Z love album. games like these. Yes, 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 yes. Yep. I love these types of games. I play the fuck out of these. The horror ones? No, it's just like, you gotta find hints and things, and then it puts you to other shit, and you gotta find hint clues, and then you puts you to the other... Well, other was it bleeding from his dick?
Like, um... We can take a break. You should take a break. Let's see what no, they're called. No. Somebody just in my house, by the way. Yeah, I'm probably gonna end up playing it because it's like, like an acting movie game. Oh, it's the people that made hey, her boss, story. Oh, yeah. Wake up. Wait, that's sick. Wait, there's a five 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 rain or no? What do you mean you don't know where to start? Let's clean this place up. Move some chairs and tables around. We can make this place shine again. If Wait, the weather is, gets bad, five... we can grow some veg in the greenhouse. What they Once make? we start making uh, real no. money, it's not even, though. well, then you can rent that fancy new apartment in Midtown. So make friends, make enemies. If I like building shit. Room, then. Just turn on the Wait, old charm. Is this people? No. Water down their drinks. I'm not your conscience. Oh, it's a publisher. Okay. It's like Sim. This is a world to explore, to make stories, your stories. Oh. Nope. Oh. Yeah. You ever look up at the clouds and wonder what's up there? Well, if you dream big enough, maybe you'll find out. Maybe we all will. Welcome to Nivalis. Okay. Hope it's good. Hi, I'm Marco. And I'm Roman. And I'm Nance. We are big fans of cyberpunk fiction and games. But we have our own idea of what Amber, a cyberpunk right? world can be. Oh. This is a game in which you manage your restaurant, bar, or nightclub. Is that his take name? Take care of your staff. Make Such a long nose as I think of me when I experience breathe. the stories of the people you meet. Or maybe you just want to take the day uh, off and go fishing at the docks instead. Nivalis primarily uses voxel art for the environments. We spend lots of time creating a unique atmosphere with high levels of detail and dynamic elements. We are excited about the cyberpunk world we're making, and we can't wait to see the choices you'll make and how you'll choose to live your Jesus, life. Man. This is when you can visit us in Nivalis. You can wishlist Nivalis now on Steam and the Epic Game Store. Mana is the gaming rewards debit card that puts the power back in the hands of players. So with every quest you complete and every purchase you make, you're earning for the rewards you actually want. We make it easy for you to set up and start. Just sync your favorite games to your Mana account and start earning real life rewards Wait. the next time you play. So why pay any other way? I don't even understand. Pay with Mana. Pay with power. Mana. Is it like purchase related system. goals or like actual in-game goals? like? Yeah, Get like ready to buy a hundred loot boxes and purchase ten thousand fucking V bucks. Hotter than my computer with three Chrome tabs open. A rubber mirror. Holy fuck, we're, we're here. I was here to watch this. Holy shit! Finally. Oh, I've been waiting for this. All right, I'll see you guys, man. Actually? No. But I feel like I should go. <laughs> well, is there going to be anything after this? Because this was the last game they showed in that, like, six game thing. There has to be then. something after. There's got to be something after. So this game doesn't have saves on, on 3 right now. I, I played it I played it already. It doesn't they're, save them. They're afraid to go into the start menu and show us. That's the thing. That was my favorite thing about the event. What else? Um, I don't know. I don't remember anymore. Oh, a lot of aren't for me, but this is definitely not for me, though. Holy fuck! Yeah. Well, they said they got inspired by Persona. It's Knut. Did you see his name? His name <laughs> was Knut. Wait, really? <laughs> you had Knut with the E in the end. Yes. Sir. I'm dying in the cold. Kissing. The ball's gonna look cool though. GTA 6 is after this one. You wanna play the beta? Yeah. Or... Am I allowed to use the code for GTA 6 yet, or should I wait? You, you have, have to wait. Yeah, have to wait. Like, so. You can't stream it, right? So. Nah, no, we can't stream it. When can I put the code in? You just saw oh, Demon's oh, Welsh developer Isbrid Games. And now, 
it's time to take a bit of a spooky transition. If you're at home, turn on all the lights in the room. Make sure the salt circle is unbroken. And check to see that your door is properly painted with sacrificial lamb's blood, because things are about to get certifiably terrifying. Let's look at the H.R. Giger-inspired biopunk horror, Horn. Scorn. Desolate and decayed. A grisly nightmare of macabre perception. Greetings. I have like a little I'm pimple on my tongue. I'm Doug Bradley. Under? And I Kinker invite sword. you to Kinker join sword. me yeah. as we explore Scorn's mesmerizing labyrinth Just of don't squeeze there enough and it doesn't make it better. And don't touch it. It doesn't make it better actually. You awake. It does? Yeah. In the middle of a Why? desolate hellscape filled with biomechanical contraptions. Part flesh, <laughs> part okay. machine. Fart An industrial machine? industrial civilization now said? lying in decay and ruin. A hidden fauna sleeps within the underbelly of the world, wanting nothing more than to be left undisturbed. Scorn has been carefully crafted with great attention to detail. Everything is focused on building a specific atmosphere. From a unique organic ecosystem to an unsettling soundscape created by Ethek and Lustmord. Scorn has no dialogue, so most of the storytelling awesome. comes from the environment. Discovering the ever-present symbiotic relationships and how things are connected equips you with the tools to progress. Ooh, so cool. While there is yeah, shooting really within good. the game, Scorn is not a shooter. Every encounter must be carefully considered. A wrong choice could be deadly. I hope you've enjoyed this glimpse into the twisted world of Scorn. The team at Ebb Software can't wait for you That's to uncover ass. the secrets of this <laughs> unique world as you experience Scorn firsthand this October. Are you prepared to unravel your inner self within Scorn's world of horror? No. Okay. Oh, hey, now, while I've it? been delightedly playing Dune Spice Wars, harvesting hey, the launch and trying to figure out how to pronounce Where'd he get those? Quest, qu Quisats had a hey, pause it back in. I'm equally ready to turn hordes of Tyranids into a Jackson Pollock painting in Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. In this Warhammer? brutal third-person shooter, you once again step into the Starcraft oversized 3. power armor of Titus, an elite Primaris Space Marine in a galaxy immersed in a never-ending war. To take us further inside the grim dark, I am joined by Tim Willits and Oliver Hollis, the creative director, on Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. First of all, thank you so much for joining us. Yes, thank you. Thanks for having us. Good to be here. Now, Tim, I want to start with you. You previously worked. Last game wasn't even that scary. It was like, Doom. it was like, you know. How would you mean? say the Space Marine? You said it was like a scary, scary game. Mm, that is a good question. Uh, well, I it's think all melee, though. People did not know that the original Doom guy was actually a Space Marine, inspired by an even older Space Marine, which is the Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine. So, you know, it's really exciting for for me to work okay. on in Space Marine 2, you know, because it's a great franchise, and I Space. know that it's inspired so many <laughs> other video games throughout the last 25, 30 years. Oh, oh, absolutely, and there's so much lore to sift through, and I think this brings us to talk a little bit about the new Space Marine that you're gonna get to play, a Primaris Space Marine. Isn't the Oliver Warhammer lore like little crazy? Bit about Captain yeah, yeah. Titus and what makes this class of Space Marine different from the others in the universe. So the Space Marine is is a, a brainchild of the Emperor, uh, the kind of leader okay, of, this, yo, uh, of guys, the Okay, yeah, I, I think the Emperor's gonna share. Like, he saw the danger. I'm sorry, I don't want to be rude. I, I just can't get rid this at all. A super soldier what if from his own really DNA. Good I mean, after each this. of these different yeah, factions, these like... different chapters have different genetic traits of the Emperor. Star Wars game. But what makes the Primaris okay, let's make a bet. Let's make a bet. Next game, what is it? A guy named Belisarius. Ah, two D dog shit. I say a simulation. 
simulating back, did some digging the old uh, data and found a way to enhance the the qualities that the like... Space Marine has mm -hmm. by installing new devices, new kind of bio. Yeah, I'm trying to spend some time. It's maybe my bars are lagging. So, so these guys are two and a half meter tall monsters capable of destroying anything in their path. It's reminding there's me of no the way there's a space game out there. There's going to be a race 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 racing RPG. It's so exciting. Mm. It's so exciting that we now get to be racing in that RPG. To okay, that that's your bet. XCC. And in the trailer, we saw a lot of Tyrants. Um, Are they the main uh, enemy that you're going to be against? So what makes them such a like compelling foe? Retro in this particular story game, game, RPG are the main focus, and what makes them compelling is that okay. they are extra galactic, RPG, by the way. Uh, locust like creatures. They, they've come in from goodness knows where. They spread like wildfire. They devour everything in their path, and they leave nothing in their wake. So one of the great things about the Tyranids is they come in the thousands. And our uh, proprietary engine, the Saber Swarm engine, can can deliver these epic battles. Now we will have thousands of it Tyranids, kind of epic. Uh, and you will rip and tear through them all. I mean, that is so thrilling, because this is the sort of thing that older games couldn't even hope to do. And you're talking a little bit about combat. I know that some of the previous entries were more melee focused. What's the combat like in Space Marine 2? So the combat in Space Marine 2 is a mix of in-your-face melee combat along with some really cool over-the-top weapons. So, um, you know, we, we, we looked at, you know, the original Space Marine game where, they, where uh, it had a lot of this push-forward combat, which has inspired many other video games, but, uh, but that never Chat, stopped, I'm on that. I'm on never take cover Evers. combat is integral to Holy Space fuck, Marine 2 I'm along so with, you know, these, these really cool, powerful weapons. So you, you're either tearing up the enemies XQC3 in front of you, or you're blowing them away from uh, the back of the battlefield. It's, Getting uh, news, it's, Escape it's 4 GTA 6 I mean, that sounds next. so terrific. Really? I mean, I know you guys are huge fans yeah. of the 4 GTA lore, 6. So I'm curious yeah. about in working on this project. What's nah, the next is the forest. Seeing come together. I mean, what's Saber Interactive focusing on right now? Right at the beginning of the project, uh, Tim and I went to the Warhammer sounds Museum, me, which was an incredible experience. And you go around all these cabinets where these incredible miniatures that have been painted by these masters are arranged in these dioramas. You find yourself kind of crouching down and looking into the ranks of, of space marines that are facing humans or orcs or whatever. NFT. And something that Tim and I said. No, no, no. no it's, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. The plastic pieces. Yeah, put them line. together. Mm -hmm. I don't want to look yeah, at this. Paint I want to be inside this. I want to there be. There used to be stores in the mall where you go and paint. The okay. thousands. And yeah, so yeah, I know. Seeing that actually happen and come alive. I used to walk by that shit like, what the fuck is that? Am I going to feel like a couple friends that started that animation? That's why I would get my fucking Pokemon cards and figures. Even more so when when you're wielding one of those massive weapons and you're faced with a thousand tyrannids who all want to eat you alive and you're just let rip and you can see shell casings bursting out of these massive weapons one after another the sound the gameplay the way it feels is all designed to make you feel like the most powerful warrior in the universe well perfect that answers everything thank you so much tim and oliver from saber interactive for joining us i can't you, wait dude. warhammer 40k space marine 2 okay comes so to PC, i say simulator PS5, Xbox Stardew Series, type of game maybe soon now next we have a few more surprises for you up the sleeves of our proverbial power armor first yeah, racing RPG. replicant d6's homage to the golden days or should i say golden eyes of 90s console shooters and an golden atmosphere sci-fi adventure on the red planet from frontier developments and Kyoken interactive Let's take a look. Yeah, poker's right. They really are just going backwards now. They're literally going backwards and making it worse. was fun when we didn't know how to make shooters yet. It was fun because it was the first shooter. <laughs> it's fun because it was fucking 2004, like what? Really it's fun because you go to Blockbuster, it's the only game you could get for a fucking week or two. <laughs> Um, no. Hello, Mr. XQC. I want you know, to thank if I ever you had a game, if I rented the game I didn't like, it was tried my mom. I relate to you on so many things my and it makes my life go better. Back. Have a good oh rest God. of your day. Love Love from that would be me. Shall we have a business lunch at F1 weekend? Bro, for video, imagine uh, one game on Steam, 
Sarah? You have to go to a store and get the game. Ryan, this is Kathy. And it was like a you gamble if it was good. Yeah, you didn't even oh, know. Please come in. Space, by the way. Oh, we haven't, we haven't got any of these today. It's kind of interesting. Uh, I haven't seen much space today, so let's see. Back home. They fucking finally got what we need. We're looking we for yeah. planets, stars. Hey, why are you going to space? Stay here. <laughs> I need to know Take back. that when we get there, oh. you'll make the right decisions. We can do this. What do you expect to find on Mars? Yeah, it looks actually different, which is cool. So, we've been working for this game for about 14 years. <laughs> we thought space made a lot Hi, of sense. My name's Elise Chappell, oh, and shit. I play Kathy Johansson in the out of this world sci fi epic Deliver Us Wait. Mars. Wait a minute. Join Kathy and the crew of the Zephyr on an unmissable adventure <laughs> as they journey to the Red Planet to recover technology vital to the survival of Earth and oh, humankind. Right. Deliver Us Mars is set to land on this September 27th. This reminds me of that one AVGN video about Action 52 where over half the games were fucking store. space shooters. Oh, it was short though, thank god. Stay a while. Hey, and listen. listen. <laughs> Wait, what's the name of this video? Action 52 where over half the games were fucking space shooters. <laughs> to this list of games still to come, the team behind Half-Life Alex Levitation will put their mod where their mouth is and then it's paradox time. Not as in us creating an actual time paradox, we're going to show you the latest from Victoria 3. Boys, I think Plus, it's time. Bro, they're showing a mod. Entire Our consoles with the have creeping horror of cards Greenwood. than these games. They're showing a mod. Just Honestly, amen. I thought first, COVID was an excuse. A final it's pop just quiz for all you Valorant, CSGO, and League of Legends yeah. players. How much has eSports They're showing a mod I'm gonna buy with my Razer gift card. Comfort Data Centers wants to hear uh, the gift card. I bought with my Visa Mana. With uh, Mana, yeah. Razor gift card. Which I got points Visit by doing League of Legends State challenges on the Xbox Battle Pass. Game Pass, right. yeah. And now, back to the show. Up next, we're going to take a look at Stormgate, the highly anticipated real-time strategy game from Frost Giant. Then, our resident RTS addict is going to sit down with some of the game developers to ask the hard-hitting questions like, when can we play this already? Huh? What? Real? Dude, I swear, all that shit's always a lie. It's like one guy's cousin. Two years ago, our team assembled with a shared vision to build a brand new real-time strategy game. Together, we've been fortunate to work on some <laughs> of the one. greatest RTS games of all time. Uh. And now we have a chance to do it again by creating the next evolution of that legacy. Today, we are so excited to share a first glimpse of Storm. What you did, you're not an wrong. exclusive sneak peek into the universe and game that we've been creating for you. Stormgate takes place in an all-new, post-apocalyptic setting where science fiction and fantasy collide. Our cool. story begins like hundreds Starcraft. of years it sounds like... future, yeah, the following music. the near extinction yeah. of humanity. They only have the music this guy. This great calamity was caused by the... Oh, yes, the genre, <laughs> not really. ...a on claiming this planet as their own. With our story, we are creating an ever-expanding game universe, told through an ongoing series of campaign I can make that background when I was a kid that you can play effects. solo or cooperative. New chapters will come out <laughs> that, regularly, that, that, along with like new a, units, maps, like video photos, tutorial. and plenty like, of other surprises. How to make cool thing. In addition I mean, to campaign honestly, this trailer looks looks cooler than the fucking D4 one did. With Wait, next year's and professional tournaments it's accessible. Rockstar, it's coming up, yes, yeah, sure, the game. There will be different leagues suitable for all levels of experience. In our new three-player co-op versus AI mode, you'll level up your heroes, collect rewards, and customize your forces. It didn't look that bad when I looked at it like this, but I mean, it's RTS at the end of the day, you know. 44444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444
and we're here to talk about their brand new, free-to-play, real-time strategy game set in a post-apocalyptic Earth. It's Stormgate. And here to talk about it is the CEO and production director at Frost Giant, Tim Morton. Thanks for joining us, Tim. Thank you so much for having me here. I want to know about the world. I want to know about the game. Tell okay, us what guys, is guys, actually, I think right, this is I've been awake for like a long time. Uh, I'm, 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 dude, I'm, um, I'm, uh, I'm done with this. It is classic real-time strategy. Surely this yeah. game yeah. will be completely be unique and absolutely social. nothing like any other game. Really really a universe that ties everything right, together, but provide different right. kinds of experiences. What well, I don't want to do, you guys want to, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't want Chat, I'm done, yes, I'm done with it, guys, I guess, I'm actually done with it. So play no, I'm not in the stream, I don't know what I'm doing next. somebody who really enjoys competition, we've got one versus one. High I guess I have to stay awake. I have to stay awake. I have to stay awake. In some ways, but they're also all unified by the universe, by the races, Gamble, bro. The units. So but you don't. You yeah, don't. I mean, I, I mean, I, that's what I was thinking, to be honest. Bit about that core I'm, I'm, like, I'm down to watch a little bit of combat. Like money building bases. Okay, I'll gamble a little bit better. And I know that for you, the game feeling really right, good. Go, guys. Really guys, 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 guys. I'm literally autopilot right now. Check, guys, 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 guys. I want, I want to ruin it. Check, guys. Listen, listen. I have to stay awake because if I don't, guys, if I, if I, if I don't stay awake, it's gonna be something again. Tomorrow night it'll be like I'm awake late and it's gonna be terrible and it's gonna be terrible. I right, have fun, guys. Love you guys. Okay. Right, so, you. It's, it's, yeah. Yeah. I actually have fun. It was fun. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, then. Bye. Okay. Uh, after that, that we'll be chilling. Fun. Yeah, after that, we'll be chilling. Okay, uh, I'll depot a little bit of juice uh, that I have left from uh, earlier, and then um, try to get something going. And if not, I'll probably just fucking end it and go to, you know, I mean, end the stream and fucking go to bed. But for now, let's just fucking chill a bit. Can you share your screen? Yep. Um. Okay. Um. I'm not gonna do big buys and big stupid shit right now. I'm uh, I'm probably just gonna chill and try to do uh normal uh stuff. Going Great. for some mini juicer type of stuff right now. Yeah, mini juicer type of stuff. Just not to not because today I got it twisted. 